A recent article in the press, written by the Director of the Institute of Public Affairs, suggested that the forthcoming changes to the way advice is delivered in this country was an example of enshrined paternalism. He suggested that um, the industry is, is yet again being subjected to the government's um, paternalistic natures in trying to rule how people make their decisions. Whilst he might have a point, about the government's potential heavy-handedness in the approach with the taking with future financial advice. There's another aspect to it which I think mimics similar initiatives the government made when they brought in the introduction of seat belts, when they brought in the introduction of drink driving, when they brought in the introduction of smoking in public places. Rather than enshrine paternalism, I think it more demonstrates some leadership that the government is extending to the industry because the industry to date has failed to regulate itself. Uh, the industry to date despite all best interests, has really served its main interests first and then the client's interests second. I think the sort of leadership that's being provided, similar to other initiatives the government's taken of a nature, provides the opportunity for us as an industry to stand up and really deliver to the client what the client's always wanted, which is greater certainty in their financial life. The, the, the director of the Institute of Public Affairs went on to say that potentially the government's going to extend uh, their jurisdiction to whether people have enough advice to buy a house or not. But the analogy doesn't work for me in that every year consumers are unaware that they're paying more than the price of their mobile phone contracts to someone potentially they never see year in year out for their wealth management advice, their superannuation advice. For a whole host of reasons I believe that the sentiment behind the future of financial advice is coming at exactly the right time when Australians are demanding greater service, greater certainty from the advisors that purport to be impartial and clearly aligned to the outcomes for the client. The industry wants greater clarity, more transparency, and giving the clients greater control so they can make better decisions about their financial future. If you'd like more information on the evolving advice industry, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button above. Or alternatively, if you want a lot more information on articles and blogs that I regularly post, go across to jimstackville.com. I look forward to seeing you there.